Waterfalls are one of nature's most beautiful and majestic features on the landscape. And in this video, we're going to look at how these waterfalls form in different stages, the geology and the rock types that kind of create this natural formation and what happens after the waterfall has been formed. This is the Earth Science Classroom. So to talk about waterfalls, you need to talk about rivers and streams. And in terms of the water channel, you're looking at a certain location of the waterfall and where it forms on the river system. Now, the river is broken into three parts, and we're looking at more of the headwaters or the source or the higher elevation with the faster moving, higher velocity water and how the tributaries are going to add in in various stages of the first and second order, even third order streams and create this environment that can form a waterfall. A waterfall forms both in certain locations on the river system and also over a certain time scale. Now in this diagram we have two distinct rock layers. One rock layer which is more resistant to erosion and the bottom or underneath underlying layer of rock which is less resistant. So this is basically looking at how fast the water is going to break down this rock and cause some sort of erosion and weathering and change of the landscape. Now the water is going to flow downhill at a certain speed based on gradient and gravity and it's going to carry some spared load, some bed load and this material that's being carried by the water and the energy before it gets deposited in the different part of the river system this is going to cause additional weathering and erosion to break down the rock that it's flowing over as runoff and in the stream channel. So this situation is where it begins and we have the softer rock underneath the harder rock layer. So moving on to a different section of the river, you have that hard rock layer ending as the surface rock layer, the bedrock, and the softer rock being at the surface, either through uplift or tectonics or tilting or some sort of unconformity and erosion, but you have the softer rock lying on the surface and the water is going to flow over this less resistant softer rock and you'll get a focused and concentrated area of faster rate of weathering and erosion which can cause rapids can cause that disintegration and breakdown of that softer rock that the water's going to flow over and it's going to dig out some of the rock and create a steeper gradient which will then in turn as a consequence will allow the water to flow faster down the hill and therefore have more energy and more erosional qualities and attributes which again is a positive feedback loop and when the softer rock gets dug out and removed you get this sharp decrease or increase in gradient as the water is going to flow down and creating this kind of situation as seen in the video where the water is going to jump down to a lower elevation over a short distance thus creating more of a high energy situation as the water flows over this area of the landscape. So what we have here is the softer rock being eroded and transported and removed from the area leaving this steeper gradient and the water is going to flow over this kind of like increased gradient hill thus increasing the speed and velocity of the water, the ability to erode further, and the soft rock is still exposed by the water, so continued erosion is going to happen. So over time, and this time period can fluctuate between years to thousands or millions of years, you get the loss and removal of the softer rock, leaving this near vertical or vertical drop, and the water's gonna do, and you still have in place the harder, more resistant rock called a cap rock, which is gonna stay on the surface, the top part of the waterfall, and allow the water to flow over with high energy, high velocity, fall down with gravity down to the bottom and start to develop what's called a plunge pool, which is a kind of a dug out bowl, basin or depression, which the water has created through its hydraulic action, through attrition, corrasion, and the ability to erode and remove rocky material. Again, same soft rock material. And you get this plunge pool and this vertical drop, which is now a waterfall. The previous slide shows a fully formed waterfall of various elevations, but you have a general K 
cap rock covering the top and the underlying softer rock is being eroded, creating this waterfall and plunge pool. Then you get the continued erosion and removal of the soft rock by the plunge pool, by the water, by the hydraulic action, by the force of the energy and what's carrying the saltation, traction, and corrosion, the rubbing of the water with the material against the side of the cliff or side of the rock, and it's going to dig out, remove more and more of the softer rock behind the waterfall. This will create an overhang, an overhang of the cap rock, which will eventually fall down with gravity and weight and mass, which is called mass wasting, and it will create this mini landslide or rock fall situation, and the waterfall will start to re dig out more of the softer rock behind it. So what's going to happen is you get a waterfall that's going to start to retreat and move up the river stream towards higher elevations because each time the softer rock gets eroded and the cap rock collapses and the overhang collapses, it restarts and maintains its erosional qualities and just moves the waterfall, the location of the waterfall, upstream away from the mouth and towards the source. And these steps in sequence form some absolutely beautiful natural phenomena, natural breathtaking landscapes where you can trek or hike through various locations and stumble across this beautiful waterfall that you never knew was there. Or you might go to a national park or certain parts of the world where you know there's a massive waterfall and it still takes your breath away. Just the awe-inspiring amount of water, the noise, just the sheer scale of some of these waterfalls is absolutely immense. And again, just down to erosion and water flown over land. Thank you so much for watching.